Hello investors and traders, today I'll speak about the stock market, stock market analysis, main indexes, oil, the TLT, obligations uh, and of course my view uh, until the end of this, uh, this year. So let's start with uh, uh, NASDAQ, uh, NASDAQ 100, we see that uh, it continued to grow. Uh, actually its performance since the beginning of the year is more than 40% very very impressive performance all the, uh, uh, the stocks uh, such as Google, Apple, uh, Meta are uh, showing a very very nice and strong uh, performance we can see here with the pandemic lows so since the pandemic lows we up more than 100% and uh, actually now the current levels uh, we just uh, we just uh, a few percent uh, yeah we just uh, five percent down uh, from all-time high so very strong and uh, very uh, impressive rebound here uh, we're seeing in this year so uh, i'm continue uh, telling you the truth and continue to hold my stocks my portfolio such as amazon uh, dividend stocks I had the Bitcoin in my portfolio. Of course, I sold it. Uh, just, uh, just, uh, just watching. Also, the Fed continued to increase uh, to high interest rate. The current uh, rate is 5.25 percent. So actually, it's a very, very high figure. And uh, the S&P 500. Look, uh, this scenario most probably it won't work. I told uh, uh, it was my my view. Look here. It's a little bit, a uh, little bit. Uh, uh, it's better. So look, here it was in my mind the first are you using, of course, the Elliott wave, the first wave, the second, the third. Here we had a triangle. It was uh, the fourth wave, uh, A, B, C, D, and E, and then here most probably finish the fifth wave. Also, it was a clean impulse, uh, the first, the second, the third, and the fifth. So here it finished. Then I told, uh, I was thinking it uh, expanding leading diagonal, but here it, uh, uh, for sure, it can be the fourth wave. Most probably this, uh, uh, this construction is supposed to be uh, something else. So uh, anyway, of course, uh, we will check and, and I will... Um, update you in the next videos but here most probably we are going to see another all-time highs maybe we're going to 500 uh, points but uh, the the market the market is continue to grow also today we have a GDP in US uh, figure so it was 2.4% uh, it's quite higher than the expectations and of course if we see a such nice performance in this year so um, it increased the probability of uh, uh, of uh, uh, decreasing interest rates uh, it also can tell us that the inflation I uh, can uh, be very close to its target uh, uh, target uh, rate of two percent without the recession. I of course uh, it's hard to believe it, but we may see, we may see. But anyway, the GDP is strong and the inflation in the US continue continue to decrease. Let's have a look on the US dollar index uh, uh, versus the main. Uh, currencies the uh, main world currency so actually it's it's, uh, it's very close to 100 point uh, it's the same as i told you at the beginning of the year uh, it's, it's my projection that it will be uh, lower than 100 uh, points so uh, maybe maybe the us rate of uh, of 5.25% it's uh, can be the the highest uh, the highest level and then after the Fed uh, will start uh, to decrease it, of course, the uh, DDXY, the US dollar index also will uh, uh, continue to decrease. So my uh, points for the, my view for the next uh, years, it's uh, uh, 95, 96 uh, point uh, for the US dollar. So I'm expecting uh, US dollar to weakening in the, in the next uh, years.
also here a nice uh, nice uh, uh, picture we can see that uh, the market expectations of uh, fed fund rate uh, towards uh, the end uh, uh, the end of 2025 uh, we see that uh, at the highest level it was uh, about five uh, percent and now the expectation we see that it's very close uh, to four so uh, as i told you previously the expectations uh, for uh, uh, for the U.S. interest rate to the de to decrease are now continue continue to be very high. So there is uh, also probability that the stock market may uh, start uh, to do, to bounce. So actually, the S&P 500 rose uh, showing a performance of 20% uh, since the beginning of the year. But if we will see that uh, uh, the interest rate uh, will decrease, so it can be a nice uh, positive moment for the US uh, stocks. Uh, so the TLT, it's one of my uh, positions. I have position in this asset. It's the US Treasury bond uh, ETF. Uh, so here it's about 100, uh, uh, 100 uh, points. Uh, actually it's performance, uh, it's down uh, more than 2% since the beginning of the year. But here, the, please pay attention, the dividend yield. The dividend yield here is more than three percent. In my mind, of course, of course, uh, me as a dividend investor, it can. It's a very, very nice performance. And also, don't forget that uh, when the Fed will start to uh, decrease its interest rate, we will see a spike, a very strong bounce in the in the sense of the TLT. So uh, in uh, one week, in two weeks, it can jump to 120, for example. In this case. It can be uh, performance of uh, the upside potential is uh, about uh, 20%. So for me, of course, it's uh, a very, very safe uh, asset. I remind you the TLT, the Australian bond, it's one actually one of the uh, one of the most safest uh, um, uh, asset in the whole uh, <laughs> US stock in, and uh, bond market. Let's have a look on the US brand, the oil price. So here, uh, look, using the waves in my mind, it was the first wave, the second, the third, the fourth, the correctional one, most probably here is finished. And then I'm expecting to see the fifth wave. Uh, of course, the fifth wave, it's uh, supposed to be higher than the third wave. Uh, so there is a still, still can be a probability for the energy transition for a spike in the brain to oil price. And uh, also, I can give you, I can give you uh, the target using the the Fibonacci waves. Yes, if we're saying that uh, the first wave, for example, finish here, yes. So most probably uh, twenty two hundred twenty seven bucks. It can be one of the targets for the uh, for the brand. Uh, Brent oil price. In this way, the raw potential is huge. It's more than uh, more than two, no, about two hundred percent. So, uh, one of the one of the ideas for the next uh, for the next uh, year, it can be buying a, a dividend uh, oil uh, U.S. stocks. But of course, in the next video, I uh, will uh, tell you. Uh, more detailed about my uh, portfolio construction for 2022-24 uh, 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 and let's uh, check of course my portfolio performance since uh, this year uh, at the beginning of the year I showed you my uh, portfolio model portfolio for this uh, year 2023 it was uh, for assets the TLT US Treasury bond Bitcoin Amazon and Disney so it uh, was a uh, performance uh, since the beginning of the year. Now the, the current date today is uh, 28th of, uh, uh, of July. So look, the TLT is uh, its performance, uh, down, it's down uh, 2%. The B2C, uh, I closed it at about 30,000 30, bucks. Uh, no, this position is closed by, and it gave me 70%. Uh, Actually, it... Um, uh, uh, equivalent value, so all of this asset is uh, 
25% of my portfolio equally weighted. So the Amazon is very strong performance, more than 50%, it's 40% in my portfolio and Disney. The Disney stock is down more than uh, 3%, so actually it's uh, uh, to my uh, general performance, it's uh, minus, uh, minus 1%. So my, uh, my total performance in this year uh, of my portfolio is 30%. Actually, it's a little bit higher, no, 30%. So, uh, of course, i uh, very happy, 30%, it's nice performance. And here, it's uh, my performance uh, versus the S&P 500 index. Here, I look at uh, the beginning of the year, and uh, it was about uh, 20%. I, I performed the index, but still, now it's 11%. I think it's uh, also quite nice and quite performance. So, uh, my two... Uh, and I, uh, maybe it's one of, of the reasons uh, why you st uh, still uh, like and uh, watching my uh, my channel, my video. So look, performance uh, in this year 30%. I think it's nice. It's uh, it's cool. Uh, and of course, I'm outperforming the index, the S&P 500. It's the main U.S. index by 11%. All also in my mind, it can be can be very very nice. So now I uh, still continue to hold the TLT. Ah, here by the way, don't forget the the dividends I'm receiving. So actually, maybe it's now uh, it's very close to zero, but uh, no matter. The Bitcoin closed, the Amazon this I still hold, but of course I'm thinking of uh, closing this position and now I'm uh, start uh, to think about the portfolio for the next year for the next year it will be portfolio 2024 and of course it uh, uh, will contain a dividend stocks uh, different uh, areas different sectors uh, growth stock dividend stocks uh, now I just it's my head and I'm thinking about uh, this and how to uh, represent it for you so of course uh, uh, I hope I hope it would be very useful for you it's uh, some uh, some kind of studying uh, the how to construct how to create a, a portfolio uh, investing portfolio so generally speaking if you interest uh, in uh, stock market dividend stocks uh, uh, financial uh, analysis fundamental analysis so please uh, Press the like button, subscribe to my channel and see you on the next time. Bye.